So before we get started, uh, I want to do a quick talk on safety tools and what we're going to be using. Uh, Steve isn't here to remind me, so I reminded myself that we got to talk about all of these things before we get started. So since we're doing a live stream, um, a couple things that we need to cover with you know ourselves and the audience, those who are maybe watching on YouTube or those who are watching live on Twitch right now, uh, we have all of our pronouns on the screen. We have our character pronouns and we have our own personal pronouns. Um, so those are all on the screen for those of you who are in the chat and those of you who are watching later. Um, we are going to be using the X card and the O card, which Agatha has converted into, into the heart. Um, uh, X card is for anything that we find that makes us uncomfortable. If you know something is brought up by a player or the dramatic manager, we're just going to throw up the X. Uh, if you see somebody throw up the X card, um, it might be useful for the rest of us to also do that so that everybody can see what's happening. Um, whatever is X carded is removed from the game, retconned, we'll back up a scene, and we'll go again, no questions asked. If we are in a scene that, you know, emotions are coming out of, uh, I, I'm crying, I can't hold Amar's hand as we role play like we normally do. Um, I could throw up what we, we could call like an O card, but Agatha said like a heart, so we could throw up a heart. Um, to show that like we are okay with the way this scene is progressing and uh, these emotions while while real are also related to our story. Um, the O card can very much turn into an X card. Um, so we're gonna be watching out for folks who are here. Um, we also have some lines and veils. So our lines right now are sexual assault and sexual coercion, violence against children, slavery, racism, our veils are intense gore, graphic depictions of bugs, uh, sex, and I'm going to add one more to our, our document, and it's a finger and toe trauma. Um, and that's a personal oh, one I of have... mine. Agatha, do you have another one you want to add? I have another one. Uh, teeth, tooth removal. Is, is that a line or a veil? That's a line. Okay. <laughs> okay I cool. forgot no about problem. that one. Tooth removal. Uh, should I do tooth removal slash damage or just tooth removal? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. no. Well, like, removal is good. Okay. okay. Sweet. Okay, so tooth removal is now a line and finger and toe trauma uh, is now are now veils. Uh, I'm super happy that we're doing this. I'm uh, extremely excited. If you want to get your own copy of Unbreakable Volume 1 and play through, you know, uh, Bamboo in the Dark with your friends and family uh, using w whatever system you'd like because, you know, these are stories, right? These are stories. Uh, head to UnbreakableRPG.com. Um, so why don't we do introductions based on our overlay? Let's start with our dramatic manager, and then we'll go clockwise from our dramatic manager. So who is our dramatic manager, and why, why are you so awesome? Hi, I'm Kevin Dian Lu Long Win, and I wrote this adventure. Uh, technically, best-selling author, along with Daniel, uh, because of this. And uh, also, one more thing: Unbreakable is available on Drive Through RPG right now. It's on sale with the Christmas of July sale, so there's a good discount if you haven't picked it up yet. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. and, Sweet. Yeah. So, so you I are our dramatic adventure. manager. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, wrote, I am the drag manager. I wrote this adventure. It is based on my uh, my cultural history and my understanding of Vietnamese culture, and it it's mainly focused on like festivals of Vietnamese uh, culture, and then also a one very specific myth of a, a heroic figure, a heroic like demigod type figure known as Tan Zong in uh, Vietnamese culture, and I'm I'm very happy to be here and be able to share this with y'all. I'm thankful to Daniel for inviting me on to share it with y'all and to uh, help facilitate this preview, this uh, this prequel to the main game, the main Asians or Dungeons and the Asians game. Hey, I, I mean, like, big ups to you. You, you approached me and you were like, hey, do you, I'll mm -hmm. run it for you. And I was like, yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we actually read through your adventure and we talked about it mm -hmm. on our Black Lives Matter charity stream as well. Um, you all said a lot of really nice things. <laughs> which which is what started this whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. But anyways, let's, let's move on. Uh, who is... Our next guest, and why are you awesome? It's it's you, John. 
Oh, okay. I'm like, I was not <laughs> looking at the overlay at the time. That's, so, I was like, I don't know John. who's next yet. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm John, also uh, at Ryomasa on Twitter with a zero because somebody has my name. Um, it's an account that hasn't been active since 2015. Gimme! Uh, but that's okay. So, uh, other than that, I'm really excited to be playing with this group of people because uh, they're all fantastic. Um, so, you know, gotta gotta bring step up, bring my game. Uh, when I'm not doing this, I play a bunch of stuff, or I used to play a bunch of stuff on streams, and then, you know, pandemics happened and schedules got rearranged. So I'm only on one show right now. I'm on Entanglement over at Unmade Gaming uh, from 8 to 10 p.m., which is a, a Expanse RPG game. We're on our second episode as of this week, and we've got I think 10 more. Um, aside from that, I am also a, or, you know, post pandemic, pre pandemic? I don't know. What time is it? So, pre pandemic, I was a master's student in a mental health program looking at the usage of role play games and LARPs uh, as therapeutic interventions. So, you know, slightly derailed on my timeline on that due to, uh, you know, disease and school campuses closing. But that's what I do in my spare time. So if you're interested in a paper with way too much academic nonsense in it, check out the pinned tweet in my Twitter. It is the master's thesis I wrote uh, and published based on that work. That's sick. That's amazing. Um, let's go to Agatha. Hello, hello. I, I'm Agatha. Um, my pronouns are she, her. My Twitter handle is my <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> I always feel very guilty talking about it. Um, so uh, I'm playing the character Dan, and on here it says uh, the pronouns are she, her, which is also fine. Can... Oh, that's what you wrote on the document. I know. I forgot to change it. <laughs> oh, so, I'll change it right now. No, nah, no. Nah, let's just go with it. Are you sure? It's cool. Okay. Julie, are you cool with it? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so Dan is uh, not a shrimp, Steve, uh, and I, I'm i hype. I'm, I'm the co-host of Agents Represent, that podcast <laughs> that started this. <laughs> uh, um, and I, I'm hype. I usually play um, a shrimp in um, the normal Dungeons and Asians game, but right now I am not. I, I we we were talking about our um we were, we were talking about this on our L five R stream yesterday and I said there'd be no shrimp and then people were so angry. <laughs> there'd be people were so angry when I said there'd be no shrimp. Um Oh just wait for me to prove you wrong. Oh <gasps> yes, shrimp. <laughs> um Ooh. There we go. We 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 the dramatic manager has promised us shrimp. This is happening. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my intro. Sweet. Let, Julie. Let, let, well, we'll go counterclockwise. Let's go to Amar, and then we'll do Julie. Oh, you can't change the rules of the game right in the Yo, middle of it. Said... Oh, sorry. Clockwise. Clockwise. Sorry. We'll go oh, clockwise. I, don't, I can't even see the overlay, so I'm just sorry. assuming. You know what? Oh, so I... we did <laughs> oh, no, but it is Amar. It is Amar. It is me. You're right. You're right. It's, it's okay. me. I don't understand. <laughs> clockwise and counterclockwise. <laughs> It's me, Amar. Hello. Uh, I am also one of the, uh, my pronouns are uh, he, him. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Amar Ijaz, uh, which is my first name and last name. Fun fact, my last name means miracle. That's uh, pretty cool. Right? Does, um, does your first name, what, what is, do your first name and last name form like a? Uh, so my first Amar name mean? means builder or creator. Uh, my middle oh. name, Ahmed, uh, means uh, to be honored or honorable. Uh, and then my last name means uh, uh, Miracle. So, well, that's a yeah. dope name. That's right? so cool. That's really what? cool. A miraculous builder. <laughs> um, <laughs> and whatever, I won't go off on it. But that my my sort of the meaning of my name has influenced how I see myself, and that meaning of it has changed over the course of my life. Uh, <clears throat> But getting back to this uh, particular game, we are playing. Uh, I am playing Walid. Uh, I play Walid in the main uh, Dungeons and Dungeons uh, campaign, uh, and I am uh, also one of the co-hosts of the Asians Represents podcast, which is so cool that we. Uh, it's so interesting and cool that you know a bunch of friends got together like we're going to do this thing, and now we've taken on Watsi, <laughs> which you know that's hype. That, yeah, that's uh, kind of become a thing. 
right? Uh, but really the core of what we were doing ha and has always been is to highlight Asian creators, highlight Asian stories. And I'm really excited about this one because, um, you know, to whatever degree we've, we've played in sort of a, a, a kind of analogous to or inspired heavily by ancient China. We've also got a version of ancient South Asia coming up. I'm really excited to play in a, sort of more of a Vietnamese inspired setting as well. Look what we've done. Everybody in the chat's just talking about shrimp now. You said you're going to derail it with food. Now I'm hungry, yeah. Daniel. See, it wasn't me. It was, this was Agatha. Yeah, no, I approve. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, Keep going. Let, let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to Julie. Yay. Okay. Hi. Uh, my name's Julie. Uh, all of my social media is Twyfairy Cosplay. Uh, by the name, I'm mostly a cosplayer. Uh, recently, I started getting into tabletop because sometimes I post opinions about tabletop on Twitter and important people retweet them. Uh, and I got introduced to the Asians Represent stream, so I'm pretty active in the Discord chat if you want to join that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mostly just cosplay things that I think are cool. Um, and occasionally I GM games for my friends. Once in a blue moon. Uh, usually, though, I am just a player in a game, uh, not on any streams or anything. This is actually my first stream of anything ever. Uh, <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Aside from like Instagram Live, but yeah, this is my first stream of anything ever. So maybe there will be more streams. Maybe more tabletop stuff. We shall see. Well, ho well, by by the well, let's see by the end if these characters will return to our main story. Well, Kevin's just like, hey, 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 excellent. Mm. Um, <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. So um, today we will, even though uh, Unbreakable Volume 1 is a, where does it say that? It's 5e uh, book. Uh, we are not playing Dungeons & Dragons. We are actually playing Quest. Um, so we've made our characters. We had a, a like a private... Uh, session zero. We've talked a lot about our character entanglements and all that. Um, but that being said, I am not. I'm not the dramatic manager, and I will now <laughs> leave it up to you, Kevin, and all of your your glory. Yeah. So uh, we are here to uh, show off a prequel to the Dungeons and Asians uh, main game, where in which we find a young Walid in uh, our south, our Southeast Asia Vietnam uh, analog, which we have named Song, and that. We uh, start out. Um, we start out on a black screen. We get some dramatic music. Uh, if if copyright weren't a thing, I would be playing the soundtrack to Shadow right now. And we start out with. Let me pull up my notes real quick. So we get these this uh, this sweeping shot, like sweeping drone shots of dense uh, jungle coated mountains that jet up from the gr from the ground like fingers and deep valleys that act like the palm of the world. And the, the palm is cut with lifelines of rivers, like many, many rivers. And we uh, come down and follow this shot of going over the river. And we see in the distance growing as we get closer, a city built up on the banks of each side of this, lo this long river. And the buildings are built up on stilts, decorated with lanterns and flags. We see, so we see like cooking smoke, like white smoke. And we see uh, a lot of people coming in and out. We see long trains of caravans, of, of carts, pulled by mules, pulled by horses, some pulled by elephants being pulled into the city. And we see, as we go through the streets, we see these streets are bisected by canals, full, busy canals full of water taxis. And then as we zoom out of this, this uh, flying shot a little bit, we see that we this whole time we've been following a mosquito. And this mosquito flies and lands on a patch of, on a some patch, a patch of like sort of damp skin, damp from the sweat and the humidity in the 100 plus degree heat, 70 plus, 70% 70 plus degree humidity and the hand instinctively slaps that, sp that spot. And then we zoom out a little bit and we see a young Walid sitting in the front of a water, water taxi. What does is, what is our young Walid look, look, look like compared to how they look in uh, the main game that we know them in? Uh, so Walid uh, looks a little younger. He's already pretty young in the main game, being in his uh, early 20s, but he's now in his late teens. It's kind of unclear. Um, his clothes, which were really never very good looking, uh, they, they were quite hard worn, uh, are closer to tatters. Um, he's quite young. He hasn't had a chance to establish himself really in even this bandit group. 
um, and he hasn't had some of the daring raids that will make his name uh, and bring him to the attention of the uh, royal, uh, the main campaign uh, later. So he's also a bit less sure of himself. He's kind of trying to shrink himself, but an early growth spurt has taken him to his full height of about 5'10", which I guess would be pretty tall for that era. Mm -hmm. And who was sitting next to Walid in, in this water taxi? Who would be sitting closest to Walid? I think I think Min is. Min? What yeah. does Min look like to the camera and the um, audience? Min is much older than Walid. So, sorry, Amar, did you say how old Walid is at the, at this exact moment? Uh, late teens. Late, late teens. Uh, yeah. I'm not trying to be super, but like, you know, probably like 18, 19. To some degree, he doesn't really keep score track. Nobody else is doing it either. Sweet. Um, so yeah, Min, Min is about 40, is slightly taller than Walid, not as, not as tall as a legendary shrimp, um, but is about six feet tall, has a um, long scar on his face. Um, he kind of carries himself with this sort of like fearlessness and this swagger. And he sits next to Walid on this boat and kind of like, um, like taps Walid on the shoulder. He's like, Walid, pay attention, yeah. look. And I, I want uh, to I want to point out some of the um, the other sort of boats mm -hmm. going around the things that they're selling. Um, would there be any like little merchant ships or oh, yeah, water bound 100%. shops? Yeah, we get we, there's some there's some uh, small uh, boats that are like permanently docked on the side, but there are some that are like floating through, offering to passing water taxis, offering their wares. A lot of fruits, a lot of like we see um, one one older gentleman who's got like uh, like ripped open in half giant jackfruit that he's offering like slices to like about the size of your arm. Sweet. And we see some, uh, an, a young lady who's grilling some shrimp over the grill, some shrimp and some langoustines, grilling those and offering them with some, uh, some chili and green onion oil. <laughs> I told you we'd have shrimp. <laughs> we have shrimp. Shrimp <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> And then we see we see uh, a, another boat who's um, who's offering uh, fried catfish, which mm. is very which is and they are selling a lot. They're they're very popular. So I'm gonna, well. I'm gonna say we'll eat we'll eat. Try this, and I'm gonna pull out my a small bag of coins, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna buy a piece of the jackfruit, the big jackfruit, mm -hmm. and I pass yeah. it to a lead. Smell this, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> smell this, we'll eat. and then I'm gonna buy. She smells the coins. Smell the coins. <laughs> <laughs> Smell this, Willie. It's, it, trust me, it tastes amazing. And then I'm also going to buy some of that catfish as well. Yeah. Um, Willie, I, I know we haven't we haven't really slowed down, but I want to make sure that you try all the food because we're going to find some dishes here that we you might have never seen. Oh, Willie is already deep into his into the jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just spitting the seeds out on off the side of the boat into totally. the river. These like probably like marble sized seeds. Yeah, and, uh, and I guess yeah. Willie because he just kind of like just got right into it. He's mm -hmm. he doesn't have the big beard that he will have later, mm -hmm. but he's got sort of the patchy beginnings of it. Um, mm -hmm. And so he's just like, gonna have to brush that out because otherwise he's just gonna have flies hanging around his face all day. Yeah. So as 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 you as you see Don buying buying food for Walid playing playing favorites. Sorry, no, that's me. I mean, Min. For, that's Min. Min, as you see Min buying uh, buying these uh, these treats and food for for Walid. Don, do you feel jealous? How, what's your reaction as as Walid's being like sort of doted on? Yeah, I um, I shove my way in between them. <laughs> oh. oh, Uncle, what did you buy? Oh, niece, what what? Oh God! Another jackfruit, please. <laughs> ah, thanks. And, 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 and so, like passing it as they're like struggling to get off the boat, like oh, passing it over to you. And, and, and oh, and one of those shrimp as well. Yes, that that's for me. <laughs> I think that I think by this time they're like the boats are already passing because you're like, well, what about me? And they toss the shrimp to our boat. <laughs> Gosh. Awesome. Yeah, and, so I, yeah. I look over, I grab my shrimp, and I look over at you, Walid. Uh, Walid is too busy just chowing down this jackfruit, which is enormous. <laughs> he <laughs> hasn't learned any manners, so he's just going at it. <laughs> Amazing. Am I, am I with these people? 
Yeah, yeah. I was just about to ask you, like, are you paying more attention to to this going on? Are you or are you keeping eyes out? Are you looking at the other vendors? Are you looking in the dark alleyways? Are you looking at uh, some of the folks uh, on on the walkways to the side? I was gonna say I think I'm going to wait until Than is busy trying mm -hmm. to catch the shrimp and like try and like pluck either the shrimp or the jackfruit out of her hands. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. I'm like, oh, grabbing yeah. shrimp. You have maybe you have multiple sticks with shrimp on it, and you're trying to eat yeah. them all. I just try oh, and wow. take one and be like, "You're not eating this, right?" Uh, no, I'm not eating it. Yeah, I just <laughs> grab it. it and I go, "Okay, thanks," and then I just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? I'm too busy eating it. I'm just not paying attention. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, Ugh! and then I, I turn around and I see Waleed just eating by himself as well. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Ugh! and I eat yeah. my shrimp. <laughs> you still have your jackfruit? <laughs> Holy Waleed has oh, the yeah. jackfruit. Oh, you oh, bought jackfruit you as well. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. That's yeah. right. I was like, it wouldn't have been so me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And, Dan doesn't like jackfruit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hung, do you notice like this sort of this this sort of um, deflatedness that's com that comes over Than as as like as 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 Yoon sort of just doesn't really catch the the hints that are being dropped there. I don't think Han is paying any attention. Yeah. What is Han paying attention to? Han is like Han is looking at dark alleyways and making sure nothing's like sneaking up on their boat, uh, mm -hmm. and probably like if there are if if this is happening sort of at the front end of it, it's probably on the back end, like mm -hmm. sort of holding on to one of the like little like protrusions on the boat, and yeah. is also eating like a shrimp skewer that they got because they didn't want to deal with any of that nonsense going on <laughs> over there, just so just got one yeah. themselves, yeah. and they're like, I think probably like down to the last one of the skewer, they're like pulling it across their teeth and sort of mm -hmm. ripping it off the the, the, peat, the stick, but they're, they're like, their head is on a swivel yeah. at this point. And you're probably like in the back, like next to the uh, the farrier who's pushing along the cart. He's like humming a he's humming a song to himself, like trying to make himself known, but not really get in the way, and yeah. just so that you don't y'all don't forget them, and so that y'all remember to tip. And so, <laughs> but looking along the walkways and the alleyways, you do see there are a lot of magistrates. There are a lot of uh, law enforcement around, more than you would expect for a festival, and they seem to be very serious. They're not like this festival. Everyone is very lighthearted. There's people. Right now, you're coming through the sticks, which is a, it's a little more impoverished of the area. A lot of the buildings are ramshackled. They're made with like any supplies that they can find. A lot of bamboo, a lot of wood. So there's a lot of patches and being on the buildings that don't match the the original structure. But and um, I would hear like despite their sort of station, they they are very happy and happy to celebrate. You see people offering young children little snacks and things, and like young children are running with uh, kites. And but you do see a lot of these law enforcement, these magistrates who are walking through. They're very dour. They're very serious, and their their heads are also on a swivel. And I think one of them notices you because they see that you're you're on a swivel. But like they're on they're on the walkway, and you're passing by, so they notice you, but nothing actually happens. Yeah. Hong, sit down with the rest of us. Relax. I'm sort of like when the magistrate sort of catches his eye, just sort of like jauntily waves the stick in their direction, <laughs> like hi. And then, like, walks to the front of the boat when Min calls them over because y'all, you're, you're all causing quite a bit of a stir up front here. Not pretty good. When for you walk up, you see yeah. Don like offering the jackfruit now to uh, to Yoon. Oh, oh, I absolutely take that. <laughs> <laughs> like the entire. You just take it all. <laughs> very large piece of just the yeah. whole jackfruit. <laughs> it's like, do you want uh, a piece, and you just break off the biggest piece possible? I take off it. like an obnoxious amount of it. Yeah, <laughs> like definitely more than is polite. After I also stole your shrimp. <laughs> yeah. Dang. <laughs> Not as happy. Oh. <laughs> I love the character dynamics going on here. <laughs> wonderful. As this is going on, y'all, y'all are here for a reason. Y'all heard that there was a black market smugglers auction going on. They'd be selling some art art objects, some artifacts, some stolen cultural artifacts, both from within country and without. 
and who who of you has the contact that you're meeting here? It was Yoon, I think, right? I think it's Yoon. Yoon, Yoon's got a contact here. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know what side that is. You, <laughs> Yoon's on your... That way, that way. That way. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know which way that I'm pointing, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the contact here, I believe. Yoon, you are... Me if it's you that you're meeting, your contact is... Oh, for the folks at home, this is a modified version of the adventure. The adventure is much longer than it should have been for the the uh, than the prompt I was given for <laughs> Unbreakable, but I I took my ball and I ran with it. But this has been modified and truncated for a one shot, so it's we're skipping a lot of the investigative mystery stuff, picking up the clues about the heist, and y'all are just getting in contact. Your contact, you know, is going to be in the Market District, which is the next adjacent district over, and they are they own a um, an antique shop. And they're, they, they're, uh, you, the name you were given was Mai Vun. Do you repeat that? How do you repeat that? How do you say that? Mai Vun. Mai Vun. Mai Vun. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give it an approximate spelling? Yeah. It is M A I, first name Mai, last name Vun, V A N. Vun. Mai Vun. So, uh, Yoon, can you uh, tell us more about this uh, Mai Vun person? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know how much I want to give about my contacts, but and then I give a vague description of this person that may or may not be accurate. Look, mm -hmm. we don't want to go into this, you know, not knowing much about this person. Oh, it'll be fine. Uh, uh, Waleed pauses from chowing down on the jackfruit to watch this interaction closely because he is trying to learn from men and how uh, men interacts with everybody else. Okay. Is Waleed's focus on Min Min more his leadership skills or how he's like sort of or like how he's sort of conducting this heist, like that he wants the information, or how he's like sort of trying to instruct um you? Um all, all of that. All yeah. of it? Okay. Like so just to say he isn't competent enough yet to pick up on those he isn't enough. But he can't differentiate. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of watching to see what happens and then try to figure out what's going on. Yun, do you know my personally, or was this a third? Was this was this a contact given to you secondhand? I think secondhand. Secondhand. This is a little bit of a shady mm -hmm. contact of mine. Yeah, that's why Min she's is a little gonna... nervous. Mm -hmm. And Yun should absolutely, definitely be more nervous. Maybe she is, and you can't tell. <laughs> Hmm, Does perhaps. anybody else like sort of raise any any alarm or objection at like this this vague contact when you're you're going into a pretty high stakes situation, high stress? Yeah. Hana's definitely like looks at Min's like that's not a lot of information to go by, but you're paying. Your call. Yeah. I think it's easy to tell Yun probably hasn't realized how risky the situation is quite yet. So Uncle, I think it's fine. You <laughs> Thun, Thun, just... There has never been a problem that you can't handle. And Yun's definitely trustworthy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Waleed. Waleed, had just, he's got his face buried in the jackfruit again, so he stops <laughs> for a second. Yun? Hun, does this situation... Oh. Or Min, does this situation remind you of a previous time you worked with Hun? Han and I, we, we've worked together before. Um, we've had good and bad jobs, but I think this one is has me a little bit more nervous because we don't know who this contact is. It's not one of our contacts. And they didn't tell us what the job is. Mm -hmm. I just, I have my, I have my niece, Thun. I have, you know, Waleed. I have my, my partner in legitimate business. Hung, and we now have Yoon, who you know kind of approached us and said, "Hey, you know, I heard you you're you're a pretty solid crew, um, and they were looking for somebody with our unique, legitimate talents." Mm -hmm. Remember, we'll lead. If anybody asks, we're here for business. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Well, how does Walid refer to men? Like, what would be the honorific here? That's what. What about? I, I. What do you think? Well, I think maybe he says yes, uncle, and then looks to, yeah, just just. 
Hard eye. Is it the sun? Sorry, please correct my pronunciation. Yeah, sun. Looks to sun to see how they react. Do you you say yes, uncle? And you? (laughs) (laughs) No, no. He he does it subtly. You know, he's just like yes, uncle. Uh, But then also like like out of the side of his eye, sort of out of the corner of his eye, keeps an eye on the reaction. I hear that and I snort. (laughs) Oh, uh, are we still on the boat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I sway over <laughs> on the boat, the to, boat walks a little bit. <laughs> to a lead. Uh-huh. What'd you just say? I said, I will. Easy, you two. Easy, you two. You, how, 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 how far away are we from this contact of yours? <laughs> how far away are we from this contact? <laughs> Yeah, you ask you ask your farrier, and he says, "Oh, just a just a few more minutes. Uh, we'll, fastest taxi in the city. We'll be there right away." I point back over to the farrier, and I go, "Yeah, what they said." Mm. Can I just say I love this drive-through market. Yes. <laughs> can we just do the whole? Do, can we just do the whole adventure here and just like just shop? On the water. I mean, that's how I, that's shrimp. how I usually run this adventure. It's like a whole adventure of just the festival stuff, just shopping, and then an adventure of planning, and, an, and a whole session of heisting. We okay, well, th- then leans in to a lead and say, listen, my uncle and not yours. Don't forget that. Uh, Waleed stops for like a second to hear what happened and then very noisily starts eating the jackfruit again. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of like be like, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating the fruit. Yep. <laughs> Done. Relax. Relax. We we don't want to draw the attention of the magistrates. Okay. I I promised your mom that I'd take care of you. Okay. I'm gonna do that. But you're gonna to have to do things my way. Okay. Follow my lead. And look, and if we get separated, look for Hung. Okay. Uh okay. What when when Tan like instinctively looks at Hung uh, in this moment? What is what does that interaction look like? What does that silent interaction look like between the two of you? As well, I think up until that point, Han was about to like talk to Min about like, are you are these two gonna be okay? Or like, do we have to worry about them in this heist? Um, and then when I think and then like, but then like they started going at it again and then got bored. And so I think right at the moment. Han looks over. Han is like snapping the little skewer stick into tinier and tinier pieces, <laughs> and then like cat note like feels the glance, kind of like looks over, snaps it again, then goes back to snapping it further, and then just chucks it in the river because he's a dick. I was about to say when I finish my shrimp, I like throw the skewer in the water because my character's also a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first one hey. High five. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see how I'm doing that, and I'm like, okay. I thought you were like, I'm going to also snap the stick. (laughs) No, I'm scared. (laughs) One thing I forgot to ask, uh, you you are an expat, right? Is that clear from your your dress? Um, I think. Or have you been here long enough that you've adopted the local sort of dress? My clothes... Uh, the very base level of the clothes seem to be not from here. Um, and just based on how she looks, um, especially her hair is tied into, there was an attempt at making it a really clean braid tied with a ribbon. And it just like, you could tell that the effort did not go into it. She maybe slept in it and just like woke up like that. Um, but the hairstyle is distinctive of not here. And um, I think there are a few pieces that are definitely local. But mm-hmm. at the base level, you can't quite tell whether or not she's lived here a long time. Okay. I don't trust Yoon. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and why are we on this job, around. Min? <laughs> Look, Hung, the last job, we didn't get paid. Like, and like, you, you, you killed a lot of people. We need to, we need to make some money and we need yeah, to lay low. Yeah, didn't get paid. I, I know, I know, but maybe next time 
let them talk first. The words coming out of their mouth was, we're not going to pay you. Let them talk more. All right. Are, quick question. Are Hung and Min, are they wanted? Are they wanted by the law? I mean... We could say you're wanted by the law, but you've like obscured yourself. I mean, we're like, we're so we're we are wanted by many of our legitimate employers. <laughs> yes, there are there are there are business disagreements and in terms of states of contract. And, and there are people like Yun who also need our services. But as for the law, I don't know a law. Is is there is there a person named Law who is looking for us? I don't know. I'm just a legitimate Why? business person. <laughs> yeah, we're sketchy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, see, honestly, I think from what we've sort of been talking, it feels like Han and Min and like the group, if we're wanted by anybody, it's wanted by other criminals because mm -hmm. we're just really sketchy. Yeah. And like the law might not even know we exist. Probably. Uh, so, sorry, did we clarify uh, where Yoon? Is that close? Yeah. Uh, is an expat from? We don't have a name for it, I don't think. We don't but... have a name for it yet. Okay, just a uh, land. Okay, oh, land. as long as it's not Xiao or another, we, like, no. Not we will call it this land. <laughs> Where's that from? Firefly. Oh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I can say, like, where it's an analog from if you would like, but. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you and her name and her general state of dress is Korean. Oh, and a lot of GMI Korean. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Fantasy Korea. Cheerio. No, that's we'll, terrible. We'll, we'll have to write that in. We'll have to write this in. Now it's, it's like, canon. Louis running in the next one shot in hey. Fantasy Korea. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> so are, are we all heading in while being trepidatious or... I think so. We've arrived. So I, I'm assuming by this time we've arrived. Yeah, you're going through the the main market where like now it's less uh, less just the water taxi sort of shops and, or on the water, and now there's a lot. There's a whole uh, water market as well as shops built up on on the uh, these stilt platforms, like two three story tall sh shops of like each shop is a different level and things. And you do see um, you you get you keep going by, and then you see one really nice antique shop. And then you think that might be it, but then your your barrier keeps going, and then the buildings get a little sketchier and a little sketchier, and then you get to this really this you just get to this really rundown warehouse looking building with a dark front. It's there was a sign, but like it's so old that the the uh, the engraving has been so scratched up you can barely read it. And the farrier stops and he says, "Ah, oh, here you are, looking for uh, old one. That's this is old one's place." You're sure it's not the one we pass by? That's over. No, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, lead the way, Yoon. Oh shit! Can we uh, wait here for you, or uh, I could I can wait here. It'll just be an extra small fee, or uh, I can I can circle back. And then I like look at both Min and Hang, who are older and possibly have more money than me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Do you want to stick around? Hey, Thun, do you want to stay with the boat? What? No. And I, I'm like looking at you. No, I, I'm going to go together. Uh, okay. I'm uh, going to take more from my, my dwindling bag of coins and pass more to the, to the fair and be like, we won't be long. Please wait. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll be right here waiting for you. Okay, Yoon, let's uh, lead the way. Shit, okay. Uh, and I as, like as you're very... Walking... Oh, sorry. As you're okay. walking up this uh, this this platform, um, you, you're like maybe a couple buildings down. You do, see, uh, you do see two magistrates walking out of the building and they seem very frustrated and mad and like they're muttering under their breath to each other. They're walking I out of uh, Vun's shop. You're generally what they are complaining about. Yeah, let's uh, make a roll for that. Let's roll a Ooh. 20. Okay. <gasps> and I might... First roll. First roll. It's just slash roll 
D20, right? Yeah, or you could pull up yeah. the uh, little D20 icon and there's a dice roller like pop up that you could just use. Super useful. Super oh. useful. Well, in quest, A12 is a. That's a success. It is a success. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to hear that. Um, these two, they're 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 very annoyed at like uh, they apparently they didn't get what they wanted. You don't catch what it was that they wanted, but they say that they're they that maybe they'll they'll have to come back with the boss. That sounds terrifying. Okay, um, as we're like walking into the shop, I'm also trying to stay like as close mm -hmm. to not leaving as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I shuffling. believe. We yeah, well, it would be at the at the back, following the elders, kind of a thing, I think. Hey, uh, then you wanted to join us, right? Y yeah. Okay. We uh, see see them over there, and I'm gonna point to the magistrates who are walking away. Just uh, yeah. Watch the door. Oh. Just in case. <sighs> yes, Uncle. <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Y'all walk into this shop. The The door creaks and it has a little bell. The creaking is louder than the bell actually is. And this, you, you immediately just get like musty, dusty air in the face and it's dark. You only, the only light you see is like through the, the wooden slats from the front that are all, all the slats are like almost closed. And then you see like this one small candle all the way in the back at the, at the counter. And you see this, 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 a small figure hunched over and almost like in very dramatic lit uh lighting orange orange and black lighting they're hunched over and they seem to be eating eating something with uh with chopsticks out of a out of a steamer tray daniel asks what are they eating <laughs> as you as you get closer you do see that there's a small uh, porcelain bowl and they are eating some uh, chicken feet Ooh. okay mm -hmm. all right <laughs> <laughs> you don't like chicken feet yeah, I'm gonna like try and like step out of my awkward shuffle into a more I know what I'm doing type of gate. Um, do I know this person's face? They were a secondhand contact, so I don't think I would. But. I don't think you would. I think you got the general physical description. Like this, this about roughly matches my your, your, the general description you you receive. I just kind of like look around and like. So, uh, you're, I'm guessing you're my Vaughn? Uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, everything here is for sale. Anything you see, you can buy. If you break it, you buy it. Um, anything, if you want gift wrap packaging, that's extra. Um, are you looking for, uh, some sort of gift for the festival? We have small, we have small statuettes of, of the hero over there. We have um, some 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 toy some toy uh, switches that you can give to the kids as as the the bamboo if you want. Um. I look at both, not both. Never mind, just men. I look at men. And I like, <laughs> okay, sure. I'm not looking at. I'm like too Fair. scared. <laughs> yeah, I look at men and I just kind of like shrug. Hey, um... Oh, are you here for the other stuff? Yeah, we have the knockoff, like, bags and things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I'm not... We're not here for bags. We're not here for, for trinkets. Waleed, put that down. Um, <laughs> what is Waleed holding? Like, what, what is Waleed, like, playing <laughs> in this moment? Well, I, he's just, I think, very... Like, with a lot of curiosity, but he's just mm -hmm. kind of haphazardly picking things up, putting them down, picking them mm -hmm. like, like just do just wandering around the whole place, like poking at things and being a nuisance. Yeah, and I want to try and use Min talking instead of me as an excuse to go do the same thing. Okay. <laughs> so I, you're like, Min? And then you just walk away? Yeah, I'm just like gone. <laughs> uh, are you my Van? Yes, yes. Uh, you've, you've heard of me in my famous shop, I see. Oh, How you've heard of you, young man? Thank you. I often don't get called young man. Um, we're here for some for some business. We heard that you were uh, you're hiring for the festival. I imagine that as a as the contact, maybe you, there was some um, 
some call and response you were given, uh, Yun. Do you? I, uh, <laughs> you I take up until with I yeah. take up until this entire moment to mm -hmm. remember what it is, okay. <laughs> and then I say whatever it is. Make something up. Like, what's, your, what's, your, what's your what's your call and make response? Uh, it's... the shrimp swims down the river. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. <laughs> the shrimp swims down the river and like i sort of like whoever is closest to me i'm just like ah get it because we had shrimp and then my like suddenly like sort of like she was, she was like very hunched over very like sort of um looks very frail but like sits up very confidently now places her hand on the table and says uh, and and avoids the cat's paw huh. mm -hmm. yes <laughs> thank you yoon yes we are here for the shrimp yes uh so you are a little late you're behind your uh your competition is a little bit ahead of you but you are looking for the auction correct i'm sorry yeah. you said competition oh yes this is an this is an open open bid for this information on like looks at men like did you know that and i look back and be like don't do what i think you're going to do <laughs> <laughs> and then on like like turns and says you said everything in this shop is for sale right everything Anything we can see and han takes out a coin doesn't care about the value puts it on the mm -hmm. counter slides it over so it makes a screeching noise against oh. the wood mm -hmm. reaches into the steamer takes a chicken foot and just pops the whole thing in his mouth and then walks mm -hmm. back to watch the door bones and all <laughs> yeah. oh. bones and all <laughs> Oh, if you would like more, please, please have this. I have more in the back. If have it, have has everyone eaten? Have you? Have we're you not. Eaten? We're not here to eat. If we wanted to eat, we'd get food from the river shops. Drive through. <laughs> Pardon. As soon as he says that, I... Sorry. the drive through. The yeah, drive through. Just... <laughs> the si the, the he... sail through. The sail through. As soon as he says that we're not here to eat, you just hear me go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think just as, as soon as he said that, you saw uh, lead in the background of that shot <laughs> where Min, Min is saying, we're not here to eat. And he's like, uh, oh. <laughs> Traditionally, business is conducted over food. We sh we break bread and and share. And, Look, my... and we share information and we share food and tail. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, seems I mean, that you've food. shared tail and food with others. Yes, as I, I thought... I'm very welcoming and generous. And I thought that this business deal was for us oh did twan not tell you that uh, that was this was an open bid of uh, twan, twan always... did not tell me i'm going to turn to look at yoon oh you know that slipped my mind a little bit hmm. <laughs> and i just go back to like awkward like definitely not even looking at whatever i'm playing with anymore and just sort of like fiddling with it awkwardly <laughs> Okay, well, how late are we? Well, they were here maybe a good two hours ago, but you've got time. The auction isn't until tonight, until about nine o'clock after the fireworks over the river. And uh... that I'll give you for free. What are you What are you willing to offer for the location? Oh, I'm going to turn to Hong. Be like, apparently this isn't a job, and we are to pay for this information. I was told, look to Yoon, that we were being hired to do some legitimate business. And still... at this point, oh, sorry, go ahead. Do you still want me to not do the thing I'm thinking about? <laughs> uh, I think it's I'm time, match. <laughs> Mr. Vun, that you speak to my business partner, Hong. Hong here does all of our accounting. Yeah, Han is public relations. Um, uh, so at, when you say teacher. that, I I fully step out of the store. I was in the doorway, and I fully step out, and I just close the door behind me. God, Dan, you're supposed to close the door, and you're supposed to stay inside. Han, Han gives you a look, though, of like, no, I appreciate the intimidation that just happened. That was very good. Good job. Um, and then sort of, like, walks back to the front of the thing, like, still, like, cracking on bones, and then just kind of chews the whole thing off to the side um, once once he gets up the front and says, mm -hmm. 
So this is a job that we were told that we were being hired to do. And now I don't have a problem with paying for information, but I have a problem with being lied to. I, I was not the one doing the hiring. I, I believe you should take that up with your employer. I will, but considering their employer got the information from you, there is a chain of deceit somewhere, and I don't have the patience to figure out where it is, and I like to start breaking things from the top in front of me. So, right now, you're the one in front of me. <laughs> Let's have you make a roll, see if you can get, see if you can lean on this, this cool. poor old woman. Yeah, this yeah, poor yeah. old poor old proprietor. woman. My can eyes. I, um, All right. can I, <laughs> before we do that, can I actually use one of my um, abilities? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I have an ability called Size Up, which lets me evaluate the capabilities of a nearby creature, but I want to size up my Vaughn. And mm -hmm. when I do so, the guide will give me a useful insight into either their capabilities, strengths, vulnerabilities, or resistances. I'm looking for something in this place that we might be able to use to leverage for information, because apparently we were given a shit deal, and we weren't given yeah. all the information we need. Um, uh, what were those those topics that you get out of out of this? Is it I, just I, you get one or you get all of those? I'll I'll leave that up to you. You can you okay. can like if she's if like Myvan is that uh, what what are their pronouns by the way? That was Myvan uh, is uh, she her pronouns. Okay, what uh, I mean, if she's got like, I don't know. It's up it's up to you. It could be all four or whatever you mm -hmm. want. I think this is where the flexibility of quest kind of comes into play. Like I mostly want to know if there is something that maybe Hung could lean on. You're using the size up move. Size right? up, yeah. It's a it's a the leadership learning path. Gotcha. Let's see here. Capability strangers. You know, this like she she plays old and like she but like she she plays old like in her persona to the public persona before like she had sort of gotten confident set up. But she is she is actually old and like she is not like sort of, she's not a fighter type. So if you decided to go that route of intimidation, like she she would probably crumble under. Uh, but you could you do see that? Um, let me see. She doesn't have any like fighting capability. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna then spend one of my adventure points to use my mm -hmm. speak ability, and okay. I could actually for the next minute it lets me speak silently into the mind of a nearby creature. And I want to actually speak to Hung in his mind and be like, remember that job when you uh, just use your singing skills to get information from them? Yeah, she's no threat. Not to do that again. Well, oh. She's no oh. threat. All right. One thing very quickly, does Hung's inner voice sound slightly different than his yeah, inner voice? Yeah, I feel like there's like a slight echo and like a reverb to it. Like it comes, it's almost like it's coming through distorted, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think as a, when I when I actually use my speak ability, I think how it looks with my character. I actually have this um, dagger that's actually re it's actually a dagger, but it's made from a spearhead, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm actually like slightly uh, tapping it as it's strapped to my leg as I do this. So that reverb kind of comes from the metal. Oh wow! Oh, that's yeah. cool. I like that. Um, so I sort of like walks over to a shelf. And just puts a hand, like leans on it a little, like so. Walid is like five, like you said, like five ten. Five ten, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Min is like six foot, and Han is like six one. So like these three in a room are just really tall, all things. Mm -hmm. And so this Han is a pretty old building, right? For an older woman, so it, the ceiling's pretty low. So yeah, so Han's been like kind of context. stooped over the whole time a little bit, mm -hmm. and then kind of just straightens up, puts an elbow on a shelf, and just starts mm -hmm. to rock a little. As the whole shelf starts to kind of do this, and like things start to slide towards falling off, mm -hmm. and it's just like, now I happen to see a bunch of magistrates leave the building today, and if we're in the same kind of business you are, I don't think you need attention. So how about we avoid all the unpleasant attention things could get us, and you give us what we need, and we'll be on our way without any incident. Shake, well, I've done you the shake, courtesy of not shake, revealing the same information shake. to the magistrates, but let's have an intimidation roll. See how well cool. this 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 leverage. Works let's see how it goes. I'm gonna roll like garbage. I can tell right now. I mean, Six. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I hey, think. Well, I think. Well, no. Can okay. I, well, this is yeah. a, this is a chance for us to look at the system because yep. a six is you succeed, but there's a cost. So can I say that Han was like trying to be like 
you know, like, it was trying to play Min's game, right? Like, Min's game is, like, be smooth and, like, intimidating, but not actually violent. Han is just violent with a capital V exclamation mark. Um, so I think he kind of leans too hard, and the whole fucking shelf just goes. Like, just tumbles and crashes and things spill everywhere. And so it's like, well, oops. Uh, I mean, or if I may... Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, if that's cool, that's cool. I just want to throw another idea. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, just, just I was, I was wondering if the cost is, is maybe something like Walid. When this started happening, and he started to hear sort of the, the rising tension in the voices, he had been holding um, an expensive and fragile thing, like a mm-hmm. vase or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, when uh, Hong starts doing this, that actually scares Walid a bit too, <laughs> and so he drops it and then says, uh, "We'll pay for it." So it's like a literal cost. How does that sound? As will lead, if we're going okay. with that. As I love that. Lead, That's very good. I just sort of like glare at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's also good. I love what, that. What does does Than hear this? Because you hear like yeah. I was going to ask like if we cut back outside yeah. and Than is like outside like sort of doing the lookout. What's and you hear like some crashing. What does Than think is happening inside? Yeah. So I I was leaning against the basically the door and um. And then I jump. I recross my arms <laughs> and whistle. <laughs> oh my god! Like that? You see, you see some some tough looking some tough looking folks. Some uh, a, a man and a woman walking by, and like they didn't notice the crash, but they notice you like standing there whistling. They're like, okay, and they walk past. Whistling also, you, you know, as you're blocking the door, whistling with your arms crossed. Yep, oh and I, I keep my eyes follow them, and I keep whistling until they're out of sight. <laughs> like run out this of is, breath. This is clearly Thun's first job with us. Oh, yeah. Um, as this like intimidation is going on, can I like look around and see if there's anything like pretty or shiny that I would like to grab while nobody's looking? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, oh, something. We're gonna have to pay for this. Interesting. I mean, if I steal something that's more expensive than the thing we'll leave broke. I mean, what's to say that yeah. you're gonna share it with us? Uh... <laughs> Winning? You do, see, you do see in the back, like in behind like a couple of shelves in the in like one of the darkest corners, that you'd see this uh sort of like dinner plate size bronze drum. Oh that that's you know huge. is like, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we talked about how you 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 look like you you dress like a little baggier mm-hmm. than yourself, so that you can conceal stuff on your person. Oh yeah, um, I almost pictured like um, there's this older style of hanbok that mm-hmm. is like baggy pants, but then over that would be almost like an open skirt, and it was meant for like horse riding, mm-hmm. but like it can also be meant for covering things. <laughs> if you would like to steal this, you can roll and see if you're able to. Absolutely, like to try and steal this, and also it'd be really funny if I dropped it. So, <laughs> that's a one. Whoa. Catastrophe! Wow! <laughs> oh no! We're doing so good, everybody. Unless you have another idea, I imagine like you 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 slip it inside inside your like sort of outer outer layers, and like maybe something something else hidden inside that layer, like taps the drum. And then we see Mai as as she's like sort of staring daggers at Waleed, like looks across at the other way, like what is going on in my shop? What? Who um, are I you have, people? What? I have. <sighs> Who like, sent you? One of the objects that I have is like a broken pottery shard wrapped in mm-hmm. cloth. So I think that hits the drum really hard. Oof. <laughs> oh. I'm just I'm just, shaking, I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> Hans is like, we're a mess, and a mess that would best be evicted out of your shop quick by giving us the information you need. Like, definitely, like, and it looks at Min like, did I do it right? Like, <laughs> is, is that how we do, is that how we spin this? <laughs> and because it's still, I feel like this is all taking place within that minute, and I'm just like, yeah. let's let's just get out of here. <laughs> As I'm tapping on my, my dagger. Yeah. Well, you've, you've got time, and if you don't have anything on hand, I can take a commission on the back end of whatever you take. Hung? My usual rate is 20, but since 
because of you, I'll take 30. <laughs> because of you. <laughs> I think, so there's a moment where she's like, she's like, you would rate as 20, and Han starts doing math, like, with fingers involved. And then she's like, and then 30, and then he stops, like, wa waves his hands, starts again, <laughs> and then he's just like, and then looks at him and is like, yeah, that seems fair. Whatever you say, Han. I'm, like, putting the drum back where it was very awkwardly, but, um, like, the, the very awkward, like, demeanor that I've had is kind of, like, less of a thing now that the stakes have rise, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. that sounds a little bit more like the job I thought I was getting. <sighs> you will, we'll get you a proper drum after all of this, and I'm just gonna take some, I'm gonna take the rest of my coins. Mm-hmm. Put it down in front of her and be like, "That's for the pot." Yeah, that sh that that should cover it. Fairly. <laughs> well, you're gonna want to make your way over to. What did I call this place? You would think I wrote this adventure, so I would honestly, make it, but... big GM honestly, big. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> and this, hey, look, look, this is a this is a, a good sign that we are legitimate business people. We are no good at at crime. <laughs> We, we could we couldn't we could we could we could possibly be criminals. I'm so sorry. This is our first day trying crime. Clearly, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are the worst criminals we've ever heard of. But you have heard of us. <laughs> but you have heard of us. <laughs> uh, the first one as well. That's uh, that, that's pirates, I believe. That's yeah. Pirates. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Star Lord. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Star Lord, come on, man! You come know, on, man. we've hey, robbed we a lot of stuff, it? killed a lot of people. Like, come on! I imagine like adult will lead is is mm -hmm. basically like Star Lord, and I think that's kind yeah. of <laughs> yeah. And Min is Min is not his father, but he is his uncle. Just uh, wait, does that make me Yondu? <laughs> Are we just yeah, the Ravagers? Actually, just a little bit, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. But wait, Than is the one who's whistling. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Practicing already. <laughs> <laughs> so so where are we where are we heading? Yeah, uh, she tells you that you're gonna want to make your way over to the commons on the on the court side. And you're looking for the deck. It's a it's a supper club. They uh, these smugglers, they came into town last week and they've they've booked it for the evening. Mm. It's uh, invitation only. I see. So, and that's that's on you. That wasn't part of my purview. You you you, you got to find your own way in. You either invitation or through some other way. That's you know, that's your business. Okay. So, uh... Once, if if you don't have the magistrates on your tail, you can come back here, and I can offload. I can uh, I can fence whatever you grab okay. for that thirty rate. So it's so twenty five percent. Thirty, thirty. I think we said. She's thirty. You said. Yes, thirty. From the back of the shop, I'm just gonna go. No, I think you said twenty five. Thank you, Yun. No, I think I said thirty five. Are you sure? And I want to see if I can use one of my. Skills. Han starts rocking the shelf again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what skill are you gonna so, use, Julie? I don't know if this would apply completely well, but. Maybe it can be flavored in a way. Um, mm -hmm. So I can spend an AP to use my silver tongue trait. Mm -hmm. um, where basically, if I'm caught doing something shady, I can sort of use clever thinking to evade suspicion. Um, and it says there are three possible, uh, like, true answers for, like, what the target wants to hear. Mm -hmm. And you choose one of them that mm -hmm. is, like, the correct answer. Gotcha. And... Uh, I remember this. Okay. Yeah. And... I think if I spend that one AP, uh, that takes away one of the wrong answers. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you could basically take a like a catastrophe, a one, and kind of turn it into something good with one of your abilities. Yeah. Ah. So, so what are the three options? So this is where I don't know if it applies entirely, mm -hmm. but the options are orders like, oh, somebody commanded me to do this shady thing. Mm -hmm. um, Ignorance, I had no idea what I was doing. Whoops. Um, or graft, I offer up something of value from my inventory to make this go away. Yeah. 
<laughs> Min told me to do that. <laughs> Min told me to do it. What? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would like to spend one AP to try yeah. and... I can make this work. And you want to spend one AP to take away one of those options, to eliminate a, a wrong yeah. option, right? And I guess I'd tell you, that makes sense. I don't think they say... Mm -hmm. Oh, I secretly write it down. Okay, so I don't tell you. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So you secretly ask, these, yeah, or, the like correct answer, and don't tell me. But you mm -hmm. can tell me which one of them would be the wrong answer. Yeah. So it goes from oh, a, for one AP and eliminates one of the incorrect choices. Yeah, it goes from a thirty percent to a fifty percent guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know that ignorance will not work. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Um, and I want to. I'll head up to the, you said she was at like a counter? Yeah, she's at like the sort of shop counter. Uh, yeah, I'll take out the broken pottery shard I mentioned. It's like wrapped mm -hmm. in a piece of cloth. Okay. Um, and I'm going to like carefully unwrap it because it's sharp, like mm -hmm. place it on the countertop, slide it over and go, I really think you said 25. She she takes it and like bring, brings her small lantern over and takes a look. Pulls out pull, like reaches into her sort of uh, sash and like pulls out some some spectacles, some very nice looking spectacles, and look, looks at this from insert analog Korea. Insert uh, analog. Name. Yeah. Or it could be from elsewhere. I don't know. I think she's more interested if it is from analog Korea, mm. and. It's a very nice piece. Yeah, I wish I could have had the whole thing. Re analog? No, it's terrible. <laughs> the thing about that is, if we're going to keep up with this sort of business partnership between you and us, and I gesture to myself, Min, and then like sort of awkwardly Han and Waleed. Mm -hmm. Because I think Waleed is also further back in the shop, right? Waleed's yeah, still sort, dealing sort with a broken pot. I'm like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's more where that came from. Well, if you can give me an idea where more of this came from or bring me some more soon, I think we can go down to 25. Sounds like a good deal. She's gonna reach under under uh, the counter, pull up some uh, parchment and a brush and ink, and starts writing out a contract to uh, have uh, exclusive rights to all of your ceramics uh, fencing in perpetuity mm. in this life and the next. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you. This may have backfired. This may have backfired. Uh, <gasps> what you you see you see her writing this very confidently. And she turns it around and slides it over to you. Hand, holds out the brush for you to sign. Neat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the, like, since way back when, Korea also used the Chinese alphabet, I'm going to write the wrong character for my name. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Just won't hold up in a court of law. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. And, like, I do it with the confidence of, that'll work. <laughs> the, the confidence of, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Spelled my name wrong. You can't find me. <laughs> I used to work in a, yeah. a film gear rental place, uh, and we had a rental agreement, and I, I handed this to somebody who was a lawyer. Um, and uh, they just signed it without even looking at it. And I was like, I would have thought that you as a lawyer would have like read every single piece of this. said, no, this, the, the real trick is because if I don't read it, there's no meeting of the minds. So this contract is void if it ever comes up. And I was like, damn lawyers. <laughs> All right. Is that why they make you scroll down in terms and service now? Yup. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, Yoon absolutely does not read that thoroughly. Not for that reason, but mm -hmm. just because she doesn't want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, 25% uh, it is. 25%. We'll, uh, we'll be on our way. And it was the, the where did you say it was again? The, the decks? The deck. The, the deck. deck. The deck summer club. You'll, okay. you'll know it when you see it. Let's uh let's head over. I guess we'll leave. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. Fun. As you're outside, you 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 heard all this crashing, and then it got really quiet. And then, like you 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 had a couple people pass by, admiring your whistling, maybe. But you do see the two magistrates that had come here previously. They are they are returning, and they do have a they 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 were pretty young magistrates, and like probably uh, in like early thirties, late twenties. And behind them, they've got like a uh, an older an older man who is like. Who's like wide built, but like has a has a big gut, and he's he's wearing his his magistrate's uniform very sloppily compared to these others, and he's carrying a small dog in in his arms, and he he is following behind them, and and clearly they are making they are making their way towards you in the shop. Uh oh, what's Thun gonna do? Because <laughs> we're not out of the shop yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and you see that the way they're coming, they're between you and the water taxi. Uh, um, I keep whistling, uh, and mm-hmm. I, um, I, 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 I kick the door behind me mm-hmm. a couple of times. Y'all inside, as as Yoon is is faking her signature on this contract, you all hear the kicking at the door. Hmm. Uh, I think what will lead is closest to the door, right? Because yeah. how myself and Yoon are, are deeper into the shop. Um, yeah, I think I think Walid would uh, then yeah go over to. Uh, I think he's gonna kick the rest of the shards from the I guess teapot he dropped, whatever he dropped, mm-hmm. underneath like a table, and to just go to the door and be like, "What is it?" Uh, <laughs> I. I... <laughs> I'm still whistling, but I just like <laughs> am looking towards the 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 magistrates. Okay, I, I don't know what kind of door is it, but is there a possibility of like peeking out and having a look, kind of a thing? Yeah, there are like some some sort of not windows, but like open window like spaces with like slats. You can like move over and get like a good an angle to see them. Okay, cool. So yeah, I see some magistrates coming up. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see three uh, magistrates. Yeah, I think I'll probably say, uh, 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 Uncle Man, I think it's time to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, you just hear, like, <laughs> from the outside. Uh, well, seems like Dan is uh, getting, her, getting her whistling practice in. You know, are we all done here? I, like, sort of, the last blot of the ink is, like, a complete mess, and I'm like, yep, and then <laughs> I throw down my, uh, writing utensil in like mm-hmm. the absolute mess that it is and go we're good to go <laughs> all right let's get out of here then our boat's Tom still there a right couple more coins over and takes the entire steamer of chicken feet and then like turns <laughs> like full 180 turns and then walks back out the door it's like eating out of the steamer on the way amazing <laughs> like Crunching under my ch- under my breath i'm just like wait we have to stop paying her <laughs> <laughs> I bought the food for me. This is a separate, entire, separate business transaction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're really bad criminals. I, I think as we go out the door, I'd be like, oh, those chicken feet smell amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hot on the way out, like, like as they're still in the shop, turns to you like, criminals need to eat too, as evidenced, and then walks out the door. <laughs> like, and is eating them properly this time. Like, the other one was clearly an intimidation. There's, like, a spatter, a spatter of, like, chewed up chicken and bone oh. in the mm-hmm. corner of the store oh. where he spat it out earlier. But, like, this is eating it correctly and not, like, eating it, like, for intimidation factor. <laughs> as soon as you walk out of the door, you see them just, like, so sweaty and, like, oh, how's the... And then looks at the chicken feet. Chicken feet! <laughs> Good recovery. Pretty good, actually. Like, hand, like holds the steamer out to you. Like, do you want one? Yes. And I grab it and I stuff yep. my mouth. So these magistrates are approaching sadly. y'all. They're yep. between you and your water taxi. Han just starts walking. Just starts walking. Yeah, okay. Yep. Just like eating chicken feet, like not even paying attention to them. Mm-hmm. How about the rest of y'all? Do do the rest of y'all carry yourself with this confidence that <laughs> oh, that, yeah. that Han oh, oh, is yeah. able to? Oh yeah. I'm a legitimate uh, that, business person. That has a really exaggerated swagger. <laughs> uh, I think I think Walid is is just kind of cowed by everything that happened, and so he mm-hmm. he's actually just 
uh, like again, looking down, not like not making eye contact, trying to shrink uh, to the side a little bit, but following along, yeah. And right. you are you are you taking this in stride? Are you are you a bit oh, nervous? Oh yeah, um, I feel like if anything, like I am more embarrassed by how that went than like worried about the magistrates being there. So I'm just like mm -hmm. somewhat casually walking back to the water taxi. As as like you y'all like sort of start to cross paths, like they 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 the pathway is narrow enough that they make a single file line and you all make a single file line and you start to pass. And this 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 gentleman behind the other two magistrates you saw previously carrying the dog, his small dog, his it, like he he is he is a slob himself, but his dog is perfectly groomed, like like beautiful white white <laughs> fur coat, and like it starts yapping at y'all. And then he stops and he's like, Oh honey, honey, what's wrong? And he looks at y'all and he's like, uh from out of town visiting our city we're just here for uh for business the festival say, how close are we to like being able to get on the water taxi like maybe 10 feet or so oh okay <laughs> han turns and sort of like looks at this dog looks at the old man then holds out a chicken foot at the dog like a kibble like hey eh? eh? <laughs> eh? eh? <laughs> Oh, okay. I see. Uh, well, um, and he sort of like holds out the. He like twists his body so the dog, so his little dog can to grab can grab the chicken foot, and it gladly does and starts gnawing and munching and like sort of gets on his on his clothes, but he doesn't care. Like you, you see it happen, but like immediately you can't even tell if those stains are new or old compared to the other ones. Yes. And he's like, oh, oh, okay, that must be it. Well, uh, y'all enjoy your stay. I'm glad to have you. Um, if you need anything, just feel free to ask, ask one of our one of our fine magistrates. They're they're glad to help. That's what we're here for. Uh, well, uh, we will. Yeah. I'm gonna just keep walking. Mm -hmm. And uh, you 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 approach the water taxi, and you see your 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 farrier. He's still there as promised, but he, he he does look and like the whole time he's like probably out of focus in the background. He looked very nervous, like as as y'all were interacting with this with this cop. As I step into the boat, I was like, like I said, legitimate business. Uh, we're going to the uh, the deck, the summer club. Want to uh, take us there? The deck. Uh, yeah, I can take you there. Um, do you have an invitation? They 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 don't let me they don't let me dock up on their on their uh, private deck if unless you'll have an invitation. What do we think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. We yeah. can't say no now. <laughs> yeah. He 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 picks up the hesitation, but he's like, okay. Um. Well, it's going to be your problem. <laughs> like, like you see that on his face, and he starts pushing off. He starts going, and then you start making your way back through the market. You see, folks are uh, some. You see, you pass one one of these boats. They're selling fireworks, and then um, you see. But you see, like the the interaction you see is a is a couple of young children. They're trying to buy fireworks, and he's telling them, "No, no, I can't sell you. You're too young." And then, what, like while he's distracted by these three kids, another two kids on the other side of the boat are grabbing some and just like running off. When he's not looking, I gotta look, and I'm just gonna turn to uh, Hong and just say, like, uh, it's kind of like seeing like look at them. Yeah, I'm just kind of gonna grin, like watching these kids like clearly rob this fireworks person of like their livelihood, and it's just like, I miss when I was that small. I could do that. Yeah, what? Ah, <sighs> I oh, the. Actually, fireworks would make good distractions. Just saying. I'm gonna uh, signal to one of the kids. That's a good, good, good point, Hung. Signal to one of the kids to kind of show that we've seen them steal. And I'm just mm -hmm. gonna be like, hold out my hand and be like, want to pass me one of those? Are are you? Is this like? game recognized game or is this, this is like a game a recognized game like i'm not gonna <laughs> is this I'm an not... adult like being like no you 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 kids you did a bad give me the thing <laughs> no no this is like uh want to pass me one of those okay while you're at it <laughs> and we say nothing yeah. and we gotcha. say nothing okay. exactly yeah i think they totally like pass you a couple strings of firecrackers put those away let's uh let's keep moving and then i'm gonna turn back to the kid and be like 
<laughs> business. Storting. Oh like, my god! Oh like, oh my god! They're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cool. <laughs> this is the most successful trade we've made all morning. Yeah, it's <laughs> very true. It's because we We're didn't have children. to roll. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all got food? We like successfully fireworks from children. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like taking candy from a fireworks baby. No. We're we're the worst <laughs> criminals ever. Oh man. <laughs> we're just terrible. I love it. It's great. Uh. So, uh, how long would it take us to get to the deck? It takes you like about a half hour because like you you start following the canals and like it goes through the, like the market area is pretty busy, especially in the, the tighter canals. And then uh, it starts to open up, and you see, like, it opens up into the river proper. And then you see a lot of these water taxis crossing, but because the the current's a little bit stronger, it's a lot, it's a bit slower going. And you do see um, some folks; they do have like they're uh, they're riding on um, like magical type creatures. Like so, like you see one one uh, cu one couple; they're riding on a giant tortoise oh. through through the river and everything. And you see, uh, you do uh, at one point you do have to avoid this large giant like warship. That's passing through the river. That's um, I don't know how big to describe this ship. Besides that, it it's capable. I don't know if we've we if y'all have decided that cannons are a thing. In I'm okay Shah. if cannons are a thing. Okay, yeah. This this other this other nations can, can have different technology. Mm -hmm. This ship, it like if you count it, it probably on it probably carries about forty to fifty cannons. Oh, it's like about that large. Oh. Takes up most of the river. Like most of these boats have to like what most of these water taxis have to like hurry to get out of the way. It's like they like you see some hesitating, like, wait, am I too far to go to cross? Do I have to go back? Some of them get like pushed, gently pushed out of the way. This the ship isn't going full full more. They're very gently going. So they they just get gently like carried by the, just, the like, wake. Casually fifty cannons. Mm -hmm. No big deal. On yeah. Everyone in the river. <laughs> okay. Is this? Oh, we wouldn't recognize the nature of this ship, right? Other than like clearly war. Uh, you recognize it. Uh, this is. You're you're like ninety eight percent sure this is probably a government ship. It'd be the very rare case where this is privately owned. Mm. Kind of scoff at it. Min doesn't like the like the the empire, the government, um, mm -hmm. because he comes from a. Uh, a small village where they were. I actually put this on my my character description. Um, Min's from a village that no longer exists. Uh, th his people were known for their ability to grow crops in any environment, no matter what. Um, and Min and a few others, like Than's mom, are the only survivors of a massacre that the government failed to protect us from. So he doesn't trust them. Uh, yep, true. Do you think that is old <laughs> enough to remember that or to know no. that? Yeah. Um, you probably heard stories. But that's very interesting. I don't know if Dan knows the whole story, but Dan does know not to trust the government. As it is responsible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so do we want to do anything else as we make our way towards the deck? Is there any other business that we have to attend to? <laughs> other legitimate businesses I, other I legitimate business deals we have to make at, i imagine uh, this is like uh, about like two to three o'clock in the afternoons and you know the fireworks are happening about eight or nine o'clock so you've got a span of time if you want to like do any planning any setup uh i yeah. look over at Don and i'm like did you have a story because i didn't have a story and i said i did i uh i i think i can do something if there's only one guard. All right. So you think you can, or I can. you can? Okay. I can. I can. You sure. I, I can. <laughs> and I'm just like squinting at her. Uh, yup. Because if there's more I, than one guard, then what? <laughs> uh, then I will think of something else. We'll figure this out. Just when we when we get to the deck, we'll lead. Mm -hmm. Don't touch anything. Uh, yeah, yes, uncle. Yes. 
I turn around and I point at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, done. It's okay. <laughs> well, I, out of character, I just I did want to just check in on this. Uh, so it's a very common thing in South Asian culture, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, of calling people uncle and auntie, like you know, mm -hmm. like adults yeah. you respect or whatever. Everybody's aware of that. I just want to make sure that's <laughs> yeah. That's also a thing in Vietnamese culture. Oh, in Korea yeah. too. I think I think Dan is just like overreacting, <laughs> like okay, angry. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Just I figured you knew, but I just wanted to make sure everybody on the stream also got a sense of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I want to, you know, don't touch anything, but I want to give Walid like a knowing look like I'll let that one slip. <laughs> so as, as you cross the river, you see this giant warship going, um, going down, down river and you cross, you do see um, that you're heading towards the commons. You see that where usually there's buildings along the waterfront, this space, it's a large uh, open, like sort of public square where there's a lot of shop stalls set up and everything. But on the waterfront side, there is a large ship that has a, lar a, a stage set up. And then you do see performers like dancing and waving flags in very col a colorful way. And they're, they're playing drums. And you hear like in the distance, like some sort of um, some orator, like describing the story that's happen happening. But like you, you're a little bit too far away to, to, to pick that up. Let's see. Would any of you consider yourselves like uh, well versed in in local history, like the history yes. of Stone? Okay, you. Because I have an ability for it. <laughs> oh, awesome! I'm not going to make you use an yeah. ability, but if you think yeah. you you know the history well enough, I think I know yeah. the general like vibe of at least where we are right now, mm -hmm. if not the entire like nation, then definitely yeah. like city life or what the festival is like. Yeah. So. You can tell based on like sort of the the dress of one of the figures here and sort of the dance that's going on. This is a reenactment, uh, uh, sort of dr dramatic reenactment of the 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 hero being celebrated uh, during this early spring festival, along with like sort of hope, uh, sort of celebrating to or like honoring the the heavens above, for, hoping for a good harvest this coming spring. But also uh, sort of in tandem celebrating this his, this uh, this great hero uh, Tanzong who, um, you know, the, the story was that he, he was born of a miracle to, uh, to a, a widow and she had found him in a giant, um, in a giant footprint in the ground and in the water at the bottom of this footprint. And he found, found this, this baby. And then as you do brought this baby back to the village and then had heard that invaders were coming to the village to conquer. And as invaders do, and the baby spoke and demanded audience with the king, as babies do, <laughs> as magical babies do. Of course. And of course, of course, the king acquiesced, gave the baby an audience, and the baby said that he could he could defend the land from the invader if only he was given a iron horse, a set of iron armor, and an iron staff. A baby request is Yun telling us all of this? I th uh, would would Yun be sharing this? Yeah. Yeah. Like just describing this, heard the this voice sort of, of the narrator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so a baby. Well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's yeah. Sounds like, like t totally normal things for a baby to do. Yeah. Yeah. So who's the name? Did this baby have explosives? Who's the name of the hero? Yeah. The hero. The hero's oh. name is Tenzong. Tenzong, um, and that's based on a, a real like cultural hero, right? Yes. In Vietnam. Cool. Mm -hmm. Tan, do you think you're named after this hero? Or oh. do you know? Well, that's the same you name. To share a name. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mom so had great know. hopes for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the story or is this something that you that you know you were named after them, but you know you don't know the story super well? Yeah. Or maybe I heard like a, a version that was not quite the same. Gotcha. Yeah. In what way is it not quite the same? It. I might retell it with like a couple of missed details based on other stories I've heard. Mm -hmm. Nice. As folklore is wont to do, because even I've heard like variations of the same story. I, 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 pick one. I like recite it back the best I can, and then I mix in like a couple of things from the analog version of like the Tale of Princess Kaguya and like <laughs> oh, other cool. mystical babies appearing. <laughs> Like, so many magical so babies. Many magical babies. Who's just handing out magical babies? They, they show up. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, the king sort of as as a king as a as a as a king in need of of saving with no with no significant uh, military force uh, acquiesced and said of course baby we will give you this armor <laughs> and course, iron, horse and iron staff <laughs> of course and uh, he he commissioned the finest craftsmen available to him to to create these this this armament and while these items were being crafted all the, all the village people they fed they fed the child and the child within within only a matter of days grew to be a giant of a man like said to be like huge like a uh, giant of a man in reference probably some stories say probably seven to eight feet tall within a matter of days and like then the Yao army, Ming tall like Yao Ming tall <laughs> yeah Yao Ming tall but yeah, then, like, the, but, but then the armor does the armor like stretch is it magical does it <laughs> no it just breaks up. it just breaks up <laughs> <laughs> giant man looks like baby sized armor is like well that's useless oh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> baby sized armor then, this is Min this is Min saying this because Min Min grew up in the country and doesn't like know some of these tales and he's like so wait this is a fully grown seven foot tall man wearing the armor of a baby no You're like the uncle, armor like obviously. grows obviously like it's a magic baby. <laughs> uh, right, in what of course. Head, he doesn't think that the baby grew into a man. He just imagines a seven foot tall baby. <laughs> <laughs> a seven foot tall baby that becomes more man like. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm imagining just like everyone's so telling this tale and Waleed's. Like, this would be like the scene in the anime where Waleed's having this like other scene in a thought bubble. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like drawn yeah, in version. like a, in a chibi version, it's, it's drawn in like a hand drawn style. Yeah, <laughs> like really terrible, like flash animations, like going across the screen like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, like, well, it's all like stop motion chibi, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. meandering across the screen. <laughs> well, we're all saying like, wait, this is a like a uh, a man in baby's armor. Well, leads probably just like, wait, I thought the baby was just seven feet tall. <laughs> yeah, we're just arguing about the size of the baby armor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the lead. <laughs> I feel like this argument gets into like is water wet levels of like like a circular like the same oh, yeah. argument just keeps coming up. As this as this like sort of back and forth goes on, you notice that the play has moved on a little bit and like that that Tenzong, he's he's uh now they they have this fig this actor playing Tenzong. He's on like a uh, on a large like sort of paper mache horse on top top of a hill overlooking like these small flags that which are representing the, the enemy army and Yun would know like he he had done the armor, he had done the iron armor, picked up the iron iron staff and mounted the iron horse which once mounted came to life and started breathing fire. As iron horses do. That's dope. And he rode out to the field to meet the enemy, to to meet the invader. And he single handedly went, rode down, started with great sweeping blows, took down like swaths of the enemy, but fought so hard he broke his iron staff. And instead of retreating, ran, uh, sort of rode to a nearby a grove of bamboo, ripped up these bamboo shoots from the ground, and used those instead to continue to defeat the army. And then the the enemy sort of just he routed the enemy by like just taking a, a handful of bamboo switches and and hitting them, and they ran. And he returned, he he returned to the to the village, and having saved them, and said that his he his purpose was fulfilled. And he his I believe the version I read his his iron horse mounted on a cloud and rode up to the heavens. So we'll lead, and this is part of the uh, sort of the routing of the invader, sort of celebrating the great hero uh, myth that is being celebrated and sort of reenacted on on the stage with with uh, with interpretive dance and flags and uh, drum drum beat. It's pretty Very incredible. Cool. Yeah, that is like super entranced by this story because this is her namesake, and she kind of like taps uh, um, uh like unconsciously taps uh Walid and is like look look at that horse <laughs> uh Walid I think uh has largely been actually watching the warship this whole time kind of entranced mm -hmm. by the warship but then turns around and looks at the horse and whoa yeah whoa it's a Waleed, it's a man not a baby <laughs> <laughs> wait when did the baby become a man I, I lost I lost the, the trailer the armor still fits him 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like there's like people like look at this horse, look at and then like Yoon's like armor still fits. And Han's like that doesn't make any sense. Horses can't ride clouds, and then like that's the <laughs> only comment. <laughs> that's the only that. comment. <laughs> not the fire, yeah. not the Maybe iron. Part, yeah. Just that. That doesn't make sense. Horses can't Han's ride seen clouds. some shit, yeah. but like <laughs> horses ride on clouds. No, that doesn't work. That's, they where, be, I they can, that's where I draw. A line. They could be made Metal. of iron, and they could breathe fire, and a baby can transform into a seven foot tall man with armor that still fits but horses on clouds no way yeah horses yeah, on true. clouds is where i draw my fictional imaginary fantasy line. Knows Hong, Hong is what you would call a skeptic <laughs> he's, like one of the, he's one of the people who's like no, no no okay like i want to believe ghosts are real because this one time i was sleeping in this room and like somebody like like an unseen force knocked over one of my like things and like he's just like really into it but i'm a skeptic like that's who he is. <laughs> yeah. see I, I, han, I think han is either that or like the person the sci-fi movie where everyone's like like spontaneous and that person's like that only exists in science fiction it's like you're in science, in science fiction, fiction. <laughs> it's like that that han is that genre commentary on that's fantasy so magic that's <laughs> funny like Sokka in avatar last year <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah exactly like really violent Sokka. Um, <laughs> Sokka of a base. Can your science explain this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Well, that's just Avatar stuff. That's just Avatar stuff. Just no, that's just horses breathing, breathing fire. Yep. So <laughs> that's normal. We've got how this play. I'm sure takes some time, and we've lost a little yeah. bit of time learning about the, the 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 history of the region, which is, I guess, not a waste of time because that was pretty. That's a dope story. Um. So we got to get into this club. Mm -hmm. Oh, but one thing, uh, Walid, you were paying attention to the warship. You do see that the warship, it does start to turn, and it starts to uh, sort of more in the, the docks area, where a lot of the larger ships are coming to sort of import, export, and things like that. Interesting. It does. It and it's a song it. warship, right? Yes. OK. Mm. And this is the dock that we're supposed to be going no, to. No, like uh, the the supper club is called the decks, but then the sort of the the um, like the shipyard is called the box, which is like a, another district over. Okay. You see, like upriver or down, I said. Yeah. Cool. I mean, so out of character, I yeah. have a move that I will use to try to yeah. get us in, um, but we are coming up to time. Mm -hmm. uh, we could we could go a little longer and find a natural yeah. starting port. I think I think one of the things that we determined in our private chat was that this just needs to be a two parter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because we spent 100%. a lot we spent a lot of time basically in that store, in that store stealing in that stealing store. the breakfast of an older lady <laughs> after having already had breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, classic PC. We <laughs> paid legitimately for that. Thank you very much. That's true. That was that's true. The, you did. That was legitimate business. <laughs> right. Con is, contracts you said, were signed. <laughs> as you said, you slid a coin across, but you didn't look at what denomination it was. You could have given her a gold coin. You could have been able to buy like. Yeah, I could have bought like feet. I could have bought several steamers. I just took the one because I was being nice and we had no time left. <laughs> <laughs> she looks and it's a fantasy like Chuck E. Cheese token. <laughs> 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 it's like from Fantasy Canada. It has no value Fantasy. here. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's from like Tirana. <laughs> Excuse me. me first, it. How dare. First of all, it's Toronto. Toronto. That's right. No, one of my friends is, is also from there and ran a flame campaign in Fantasy Toronto, which was Toronto. And they kept calling it Toronto because they couldn't remember that they'd come up with a fantasy name for Toronto? it. Ah! Toronto. Like People actually say Toronto? Toronto. Toronto. That's yeah. it. That's what I say Toronto. Toronto. It's Toronto. Toronto. Nobody I haven't I haven't heard people say Toronto, but Toronto. Yeah, I me neither. I, I feel like sometimes. I feel like people in certain regions of the US would say it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard that like I it's do. a local thing and like people who like grew up and live in Toronto, just they say Toronto and then people say Toronto. Like, I don't yeah, see the you can't pronounce. Yeah, you can't pronounce. That's the, the only I distinction the I've noticed. Oh, I do say yep. the yeah. that, That's how you know that you're like a sports broadcaster or something. Like <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> Toronto. Toronto. There's a second T. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I remember what Toronto means because I think it's a indigenous word of some kind. Yeah. 
Probably. 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 I have to imagine so because it doesn't sound like he has French origins. So yeah. the alternative. Uh, so I guess we. So what's this up. ability you have mm -hmm. that that lets you get in? Yeah. Uh, my ability is bamboozle. I make a nearby creature mildly confused about a specific subject until I leave the area. For example, I could make a merchant confused about the value of their goods. Um, a guard confused about who is authorized to pass. Uh. Or uh. a dog confused about whether he is a good boy. Wait, seriously, it says that? That's the most yeah. evil usage of that one. That's, <laughs> yeah. Don't make a dog not think he's a good boy. That's yeah. so sad. <laughs> We're criminals, but we're not that bad. We have a line. Yeah. <laughs> we have a code. That's the line. That's not, or, that's or, not legitimate business. That's yeah, not I legitimate was... business. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's not allowed. Yeah, so yeah. if How there's you... one guard, I can do it. How... If there's another guard, I can attempt to use the silver tongue ability again. Okay. Okay. So y'all right. we... start pulling up to the, the private sort of uh, dock that leads up to this, this large separate club. It's a two-story building up on stilts, and it's 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 still platform is built up a, is higher than the rest, so it overlooks this this large public mm -hmm. square. It's got a very good view. You see uh, the balconies. Nobody's like occupying the balconies right now, but you do imagine that like it has a very good view of the festivities going on. If anybody were here, and you see uh, you see a gentleman who's dressed in like sort of very fine robes, what the equivalent of like would be would be a three-piece suit the sort of analogous standing there with uh with sort of um, on a like a podium and has a list and he as 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 your as your farrier is pushing up he's like you're sure you, you you're we can okay. handle a grand total of yeah one, one two two guards <laughs> okay <laughs> let's and do this he pushes up and he, and he sort of and like your your boat like sort of like lightly taps against the dock and like that gets the attention of this con uh, of this this uh, concierge type looking looking gentleman and he looks and he sort of like looks at you awaiting you to uh, uh, approach. Uh, I I straighten sort of my tunic and I stride forward. I'll follow just in case. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> oh no. Let's uh let's see what they can do, Hong. Hello. Hello. There. He's like he's uh, he's sizing y'all up, like looking like okay. You don't look like you you don't look like rich fancy people. <laughs> Not even really. You obviously didn't come on a private like yacht. So This well this is you... private. It's just <laughs> us. It's just us. <laughs> is is there paper during this time? Uh, did you sign yeah. on paper or like on parchment? Parchment. Okay. I think Daniel. All right. I draw out a crumpled paper. Is it paper? I draw out a crumpled piece of paper slash parchment and uh, from like inside my tunic. This is our pass uh, invitation. Mm -hmm. Is it just? Does it just have the words? Let us in on it. It says nothing. I do what it. I it want. Says nothing on it. It's, <laughs> it's like blank. psychic paper. It says absolutely <laughs> nothing. Uh, yeah, but I am going to like wave it really fast and use mm -hmm. my uh, my ability. Your bamboozle. Wait, does bamboozle only work for Dan? No, I mean, it I says you're so. allowed to confuse people. You could say like this entire me and my entourage question mark are allowed in. <laughs> wave the paper. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. specify in. The thing. I mean, it's up to the up to the the dramatic manager. Yeah. Confusion is lifted if you push the deception too far, like trying to trade a rock for a priceless item. Yeah, it might. I, I can give you. I can like, I think we can meet in the middle, and he'll be like, I. The service entrance is in the back. There's spare uniforms, but you've got to return them at the end of the night. So he doesn't believe that you your guests, your invited guests, but he he will let you in under the guise that you are like staff, like hired staff. This okay, is my contract. I changed my attitude immediately. That's I'm like, fine. oh thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll just, we'll yeah. just go. And I'm as like waving to everyone else. As like, it's happening and we're walking back, and I'm like, right, service hundreds, obviously. Wrong place. <laughs> he he, he looks at like one of the he looks at either Min or Hung, like you two looking like older and like sort of in charge, like having that air about mm -hmm. you like don't let them like 
joke like that inside. They're not gonna have it. Like, don't worry. They're they're new. They're new. Okay. Between interns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're new. Don't worry. We'll 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 take care of this, and I guess we'll we'll head to the back. Make yeah, our way. Yeah, uh, you can you can you can find. Uh, I think. I, let me see. Make up a name. This is real DMing. You make up. Yeah. Names, you, yep. Yeah. Totally. So, I have a name for that. Where? Uh, Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. My, my my home mini was just about to go off. I'm like, no. <laughs> that thing responds to me more often when I don't actually say the name of that mega corporation and I say something else. <laughs> Oof. Amazing. You could find Nye. Nye. Nye should be in the kitchen or setting up on the second floor. Don't, uh, don't the the like I I like Kevin is missing the word, but like the people who have rented the place, like there's some word for that, like mm. yes or like whoever tenants, like those people, patrons don't get patrons, yeah, patrons, yeah, the the patrons who have booked booked tonight, don't don't get in their way, don't talk to them, don't look them in the eye. Uh, don't worry, we won't. We won't be anywhere near them. And I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go to meet Nye in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking up the docks, like we sort of zoom out a little bit and we see, um, we see y'all being looked at like through like some, like two tines. And then we go back a little bit. We're looking at over the shoulder of some shadowy figure with a crossbow on a roof, on an adjacent rooftop, like watching y'all with this. And then we see like somebody else come up. He's like, "Who are they?" Like, and then this this figure, uh, what, looking down the crossbow, is, like just says in the deep voice, "I think I think the I think the competition's arrived. They caught up." They say that to us. No, they say that to themselves. Oh, to themselves. Yeah. But then to each other, like, yeah. We yeah. don't know them. But we, we don't, don't know them. But no, we, we know them. <laughs> yep. In the they, meta, y'all know your characters know. They, they, uh. Oh, they were also told to go get the uniforms, and there were only so many uniforms. Oh. <laughs> Just a uniform heist. It's like it's like that scene in Shaun of the Dead when they meet the parallel group when they're walking. <laughs> so there's there's also a fighter type who is also eating chicken feed. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's very good. They're just dressed in like the swapped color palette. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the bizarro versions of us. It's oh, the boy. same. It's the same cast, but they all have like their heights are switched around. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, they all have mustaches. That's that's how you do it. Their names are slightly weird. <laughs> do we? Do we want to? I I think we should keep going until we reach like a like a stopping point. Do you, how do you folks feel? Just want to check. I feel in. like that was a pretty dramatic. Yeah, yeah. I think well, that was a pretty dramatic. Yeah. So we so yeah. we've so we've ended okay, at yeah. the the sort of staff entrance and yeah, we've as just, you're entering and we've just run into like a bizarro version of our group <laughs> no it's like you're yeah. there but like, they, you, no, it sounds know like they oh so this is in a, in a, <laughs> cinem in a cinematic <laughs> sense they know yeah, we're yeah. here okay cool missed that mm. oh that's great mm. okay so here's yeah. what we're gonna do uh producer daniel here hello mm -hmm. um clearly we need to do a second stream and I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, we will do, we'll find a date. Uh, next Saturday, we're actually doing Dungeons and Asians um, mm -hmm. live at Gen Con. Yep. Um, but we're doing a, a different one shot, which I'm very excited about. Um, now, for um, for this one, for part two, do you think it's, I think we could we can do it in one more part, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? yeah. So for part two, we'll try to figure out another Saturday that works for all of us. Um, before we end, uh, two things that I want to do. First, I think all of us should go around and talk about our socials, talk about what we're doing. And then in the chat, I would love if we could figure out another channel to raid because we have so many people in, who are watching right now. So let's raid another channel. So yeah. if you're watching right now, uh, let us know who we should raid. Um, guests, guest dramatic manager. Where can people find you on the internet, Kevin? 
Hi, you can find me at knit underscore knack. You can go unfollow me on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find my games. I make a I make games on knit knitknack.itch.io. Recently, in the past month, I made two games, which are uh, one was a a wretched and alone game and the other was a for the queen game both like sort of based on the same concept which was a thinly veiled metaphor of surviving during the vietnam war in saigon as a vietnamese person recentering that conflict on away from the western lens and i'm very proud of that it's it's an intense game and i don't recommend going into it lightly but if you're interested in that i do recommend checking it out i can drop the link to that in the chat um yeah if you want to check that out go ahead been a pleasure running the game on here on Oh, so much fun. Snap. Um, I think we should also play that game on stream. If yeah, that I sounds amazing. That. Uh-huh. Yo, I want to play. I've been saying that we need to play for the queen. I want to play all of these. You've been saying it too. I know. Yeah, I want to so... play all of these like Asian for the queen hacks because there's also for my family, which I also want to play. That was so that's... very good. So that me. means that there's two for the queen hacks that we should probably play. I'm okay with that. Let's do that. Um, yes. John, where can people find you on the internet? What are you up to? Yes, you can find me on the internet on Twitter primarily. That's in the, the doobly-doo, because to use a YouTube term. Um, I am also on uh, Unmade Gaming on Thursdays at 8 p.m. EST for Entanglement, which is our Expanse RPG. Uh, things are going badly for us, but that's the Expanse, really. What do you think about it? Uh, other than that, um, you can find me doing like uh, academic work on therapeutic pro- therapeutic applications for TTRPGs and LARPs. In the pinned tweet on my Twitter is my master's thesis about that uh, from the drama therapy lens, which is what I'm currently getting uh, my master's degree in. So check it out. That's awesome. Cool. Even though Silk is Whoops. new to our oh, team. Oh, crap. Also, I forgot this exists because I'm bad. Uh, at 4 o'clock p.m. today, Saturday, uh, my friend Josh and I, we, we bake up the two halves of Thick Notes, which is our uh, music stream where we take folk songs and sea shanties and rewrite them to fit in tabletop RPGs. Uh, we're not doing that today because we're having to figure out what exactly kind of content we want to do, given certain ripples in the TFT RPG industry this month. Um, but we will be playing uh, A Way Out, which is a very cool game entirely designed for co-op by, I believe, Hazelight Games. So check that out on Twitter, T-H-I-C-C-N-O-T-E-Z. That's awesome. In two hours. Coming up in two hours. Agatha, people can actually find you on the internet now. Yes, find me at uh, Mighty Shrimp on Twitter uh, or listen to my voice uh, on our next Asians Represent and or Dungeons and Asians podcast. I think everyone should just go and follow Agatha now that Agatha's on Twitter. <laughs> let's let's make this happen um amar what you got going on where can people find you on the internet uh so yeah for my tabletop role playing stuff you can primarily find me at on twitter at amar ijaz the spelling is right below uh i am also uh one of the co-hosts of uh, asians represents so you can find me there and definitely come check out uh our stream for gen con next weekend saturday at i think 4 p.m est we're going to be doing a one shot of the Dungeons and Asians crew, and it's going to be amazing. Sick. Um, you could find me on the internet at Daniel H. Kwan. Um, I recently started taking my itch page seriously. Um, you can find me on itch, Daniel H. Kwan. Itch.io. I just released a OSR Chinese monster manual, little zine. Uh, called Denizens of Mountains and Seas. It's eight creatures that are found in Chinese classical literature. Um, I kind of like Very good. stuff all of that full of like little cultural tidbits so you can learn more about, you know, why these are important to China and how you can depict them in a ethical way. Um, and of course, Asians represent. And please, if you like this story or you have other stories that you want to tell and you are an Asian creator or an artist or anything like that, um, head to UnbreakableRPG.com. Not only can you buy a copy of Unbreakable Volume 1, but you can also apply to write in future Unbreakable Volumes. Now, Unbreakable, I know that many, many people in our community have reservations about you know, writing 5th edition D&D. I, I do too. Um, we've shown that you, know, you could take these stories in Unbreakable and you can um, tell them using other games. Um, volume two, I think Jackie 
has already said that Volume 2 is actually going to uh, feature other games. So, yeah, or explore um, other options. Or, and there are going to be a ton of other options. So, if you want to tell your stories, head to unbreakablerpg.com and um, get out there. I know, like, Steve hadn't written before for any publications, and Unbreakable RPG yeah. Volume 1, and now Steve's a best selling author. Um, so that's pretty cool, and it's it's awesome that we were able to to use this book and take take ownership of our stories using whatever game system we want. So um, head to unbreakablerpg.com. If you are fascinated by Quest and you are interested in what we are doing here, uh, you could head to adventure.game. You could buy yourself a copy of Quest, either digitally or um, you know a physical copy if you live in the U.S. And you can use code represent to get ten percent off. That's it for me, Julie. How about you? Cosplay. Hi. Yeah, mostly cosplayer. You can find me on mostly Instagram, Twi Instagram and Twitter. I post daily. TikTok once in a blue moon. All Twi Fairy cosplay. Um, and also the Asians represent Discord. I should be searchable under Twi Fairy there too. Uh, yeah, if you think tabletop is neat, I am trying to integrate more tabletop stuff into my cosplay. And my Twitter is where you can find most of my ramblings about tabletop fantasy, my own characters. Um, or just yelling about cosplay. So yeah, please follow me on those socials if you can. Uh... <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Other thing, sorry. Um, if you are in the Midwest of America, I am generally at anime conventions in the area and I have a list of what events I am planning on showing up in when we are not in the middle of a crisis uh, listed in my card, which you can find on linked on my social media. There we go. <laughs> I, I miss I miss conventions. I realized that there were there there are so many people who I only get to see in person at conventions. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Gen Con, and I'm like this close to wanting to go next time there is one because I'm also I'm mostly in the anime convention space. Mm -hmm. I'm like shifting Shoot. over to tabletop, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Gen Con is huge. You. It's also yeah. like yes. right there for me. So yeah, Pax U you is cool. Should come. We. Where like, is Pennsylvania. It's in Pennsylvania. Oh, it's, it's, it's in it's Philly. Philly. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But is it? I don't know. I won't be going to the United States for a very long time. That's honestly yeah. reasonable. That's incredibly yeah. reasonable. Yeah, but you know, yeah. I don't even know if I'll go to a Canadian con for a while. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm. I'm just. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. But at least we have. Twitch, at least we have our Discord, at least we have each other and our wonderful community. This is a time to be together. This is a time to tell stories. Um, I'm just happy we got to do this. Kevin, I, again, like, thank you for running this session one of two. Um, I'm excited for us to dive into more quest and more of this story because I honestly have learning so much. Like, I, I, I love all of the talk of food. I love the stories, the legends. A fire breathing iron horse. Yeah. And a, on a cloud. On a, on a cloud. On a cloud. That's which, important. Which we know in the canon of our game is impossible. <laughs> but, the, uh, but the fire breathing iron horse, totally possible. Totally Avatar stuff. Big babies wearing armor? Yeah. Yeah, big yeah. babies wearing armor. <laughs> you don't have a seven foot tall baby wearing armor in your town? I know, right? <laughs> there should be a statue of this. I feel. I wonder if Walid will be looking for a statue or ask somebody at this party about a seven foot tall baby wearing armor. <laughs> that would be great. I'm very excited to see what happens next. Uh, that being said, <laughs> we are going to go and raid. Um, who are we raiding? We're raiding uh, Jess, right? Uh, go, we go, JG is live right now. Yes. We can do that. Heck yeah. Um, She's doing session zero of her uh, new heart campaign. Ooh, Ooh, that sounds dope. So let's raid. Let's do some good. Um, thank you, everyone, for for tuning in. Y'all are awesome. We're, I think Peace. we're raiding now. Boom. <laughs>